If you're like me and you hate doing paperwork and reporting and you dread the start of every single start of the month because you know that you're just gonna be doing endless days of client reporting, of adding in those optimization notes and putting in your three points and your recommendations, Honestly, it feels like you're trying to complete a 5,000 word university essay in two days. Well, that's at least what it, you felt like for me until I put this process in place. And for me, now I can complete all of my client reporting in a matter of a couple of hours. And it's because I use two amazing tools which are also free, and that is Google's very own Looker Studio and Loom. So right now, I'm gonna take you through the exact process that I use for all of my end of month reporting for all of my clients, and it has saved me countless hours. Unfortunately, it didn't save my hair, but at least I now have more time. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm actually gonna give you access to the client dashboard that I'm about to show you. So if you love it, you can then also implement this exact system for your very own Google Ads clients. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so right now we are in Looker Studio. And what you can see right from here, I've even put in my own cover. You can also, if you wanted to, add in your client's uh, logo and also put any title information that you want in here. Then what I do is I break down SEM performance. Now, I only do Google Ads. Previously, in previous years, I would also import some other data from, say, for example, Google Analytics if I had any SEO reporting. I don't do that anymore, so I'm just gonna focus on Google Ads. But if you wanted to, you can also use uh, Looker Studio for your analytics data. And then we go straight into our Google Ads accounts. Now, what I have done in here, you've got two options, is that because this one is a larger account, I've actually broken it down for individual accounts. So this client has some multiple accounts, so we've got three or four different accounts in here. But if you're running a smaller account, what you can do is I've just got this one in here. And because this one's a smaller account, I don't even add in any notes in here. I just record the Loom video recording, which I'll show you soon. Because this one is a larger account, they've got a higher management fee, so I do put in a little bit of an extra time. But once again, it's just some key points that we've put in here. So now let me take you through the dashboard tiles and the reason for why I've set this up like this. The reason why I also like Looker Studio is that it allows me to send this link through. So if I wanted to, I can click share and I can actually copy this link and I can share that to directly to the client. And that way they can view it without having to go into Google Ads. I don't mind my clients going into Google Ads, but some clients get a little bit worried that they're gonna break things or don't really know how to use it. And what you can also do from here is that they can actually change the date range. So if they wanted to look at this year's date, and then as they do that, it automatically updates all of these data tiles. So let's just once again, go back to the last month. Now, what I've got from here as well is that I've actually broken it down to the previous 30 days and also the previous year. Now, the reason for why I find this to be really, really important is because it allows me to see the seasonality of things. So for example, for this conversions, we knew that the conversions went down in February as opposed to January, but that is quite common because for this individual business, there's a bit of seasonality there. It's quite common that the February will be a slower month for them, but we can look at that we were up 78% on the previous year. And the way that I've actually put this through is that if I just click on edit in here, you can see that I've got a secondary little tile underneath there. And that's just a matter of putting in the different scorecards that you wanna put in. We've got cost, clicks, CPC, cost per conversion, conversions, click-through ratio. I won't go through and read all of them because I'm sure you're very smart. Then we've also got some campaign data in here. So the, the different campaigns they have. And over here, I do have a bit of a three month run rate so they can see their conversion value and conversion value cost. Once again, they can see a bit of a weekly run up of what's been happening over the previous week. So this lets them know the monthly trend and this lets them know the weekly trend. The reason why I find this important is because we've been making some pretty heavy optimizations in this campaign and we're able to now let them know that you know we're starting to see the results of that. For a smaller client, as you can see, I just don't have as much data in there. But the reason why I like this is because this is the only data that they wanna see. So you can really tailor it to what your client wants. So if you wanted to, so let's just say, for example, in here, they wanted to see 
something different. So if they wanted to actually also see their impressions as opposed to their click-through ratio, we could just click on edit, click-through ratio. And if you wanted to, you can go through and change the metrics. So let's just go impressions. And then that data is automatically shown in from there. And the reason for why I like this is because once I've set up this actual data studio report or looker studio report as it's called now, there's nothing extra I need to do. So for this client, all I do because they're a smaller client, I just come in at the start of the month, this automatically updates and all I do is I go through then I record a loom. Now, if you don't know what loom is, you can go to loom. So it's loom.com. And this actually allows you to do a screen recording and you can do the thing, you know, where you see you, you can have your face in the middle if you want it. And it's just a matter of what I actually do is I just go through and talk them through the process. Now, for a smaller client, I find this really, really amazing because I don't even have to write some extra notes. Now, what I'll also do for a smaller account is I'll go through and record my loom and then I'll put the share link for the loom in there. What I will also do when I'm talking them through the different points of this account is I'll also go into their change history and what I'll do is I'll then even talk through the different changes that I've gone about and done. So for this account, what we did go through is that I went through and we went through and did a lot of ad copy changes because we we're doing a new round of split testing. I also went through and did some keyword search term audits. We also added in a lot of audiences and we also did some bit adjustments. So what I go through in there is I go through and actually talk through these individual changes. And then what we'll also will do is I'll go into the overview there again. And when I'm in here as well, is that I'll generally in Google Ads put on a 30 day comparison or a previous year comparison. And I'll start talking them through that for this account, you can see that we've seen a big increase in conversions. And I'll go through and give them a really clear explanation of what I've been working on and what we've been doing. Now in this account in particular, what we've been focusing on is heavily those ad copy split tests, which resulted in a higher conversion rate. So from there, I then go through and let them know that after we've completed that round of split testing, we're gonna go into some greater audience targeting and keyword targeting. Now for the large account, as I said, we've gone through and added some extra notes. You can do that if you want to, but it is definitely not required. Now, let me just show you how you can go through and edit this for yourself. So this is the Google Ads dashboard that I'll give you access to if you want to have access to it. All you need to do, as, as I said, you need to follow that link in the description below. And then when you get access to it, you can just add in your logos, your client names, add in your own comments in there. You then go through and click edit. The first thing that what you'll need to do is that when you are in this account level is that you're gonna to need to add in your own Google Ads data. The way that you do this is that you need to close this down. So select the, the individual tile that you want. Now you can select more of these and then you just go through select data source, add data. What you'll need to do then is go into Google Ads and select your actual account and then it'll ask you to add that data to the report. The only thing that I will say is that make sure that you are logged into the same Google Ads account for your Looker Studio and also Google Ads. And that's then how you go through and make those changes to get your own data into this account. If you do wanna go through and change the style and the look, more than welcome to do that. You go over into style and this is where you can go through and change all of your background colors and your fonts and everything from there. So with Google's Looker Studio and also Loom Screen Share, that's how you can save so much time when it comes to your client reporting. Now remember, if you wanna get access to that template so that you can use it for your own clients, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Thank you again for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. It's been an absolute pleasure. And if you would like to know more about all of the different types of Google Ads campaigns that you need to be using in 2023 and wanna know exactly how to set them up correctly and also optimize them, I encourage you to go watch this teaching series I've released right here, which is called Get Google Ready in 2023. Thank you again. See you next time.